fashion has a waste problem. But in Coachtopia, we believe it's solvable. That's why Coachtopia is taking a journey along its own supply chain, working to reimagine craft with circularity in mind. In this series, we're sharing that journey, shedding light on the people and ideas that are helping to build fashion's circular future. This is The Road to Circularity. The first stop, Chennai, India. My name is Aditi Meyer, and I'm a sustainable fashion writer, climate activist, and member of the Coachtopia community. I'm here to visit KH Exports, a family-run leather manufacturing company that, for decades, has been advancing sustainable practices. Today, Coachtopia is challenging it to go one step further, from sustainable thinking to circular thinking. Hi, Aditi. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome. I met with designer Tariq to learn more. Tell me where we are today. Uh, we are in the, our leather scrap yard. We are sorting here, and from here, we are moving to the production. So this is quite a bit of scraps. Like, what is all the scrap coming this, from? This, these are scraps from the bags units. So you, you can see this is a different sizes of the scrap is there. Mm. One is the bigger scrap. I'll just cut from here. It will be a small scraps. In our current linear fashion system, the offcuts that remain once patterns are cut from materials are typically sent to landfill. The impacts of this are shocking. The production of materials is responsible for more than 38% of fashion's greenhouse gas emissions. Since Coachtopia has been working with KH, the factory has been doing something different, saving, sorting, and classifying its leather waste. So I'm seeing this. So does this help you understand where it's coming from? This is coming from Coach and goes to Coachtopia. I see. So we can track it from where it's coming, where it's going. For that, it's very important. Collecting and sorting scraps is a step in the right direction, but how can these materials actually be used? I joined designers Amu and Priya to talk about how they're embracing waste as a valuable raw material. So you have yeah. all these little scraps. Yes, we have got these from the scrap. And what you've done is you've interlocked, Inter interlocked it. Wow. Tell me about this one. This is a design that I think we see a lot in the Coachtopia yeah. bag. This is also a linking. In the backside, you can see there's a slit and there's mm. a locking. There will be two layers and we alternate it. Same technique without the fringe. Mm. So this is a beautiful wave pattern here. So how is working with Coachtopia different from other brands? Before, we, when we have to work on a project, we'll take out the Pantone shades. Mm. Then we will give the leather article names. But now after, we always ask them, what is the scrap what you have? We make some concepts. Did you ever think that waste could be beautiful? No, I never imagined. How about you, Pia? Partially. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Like I used to like find it fascinating, like working with scraps. So I used to collect the scrap from my students, like who used to cut and throw, and then I made a bag out of it. And that's how I got into this company as a trainee. So when the Coachtopia came, we actually started working with how we can minimize the wastage and bring something aesthetic out of it. Everyone has to put their contribution together. It has to have some meaning to it. What Amu and Priya are talking about here is flipping the mindset of how we design, working backwards from what already exists rather than starting with an idea and creating new materials to fit it. But how do these ideas begin to make it into products? I spoke to Swat, KH's Vice President of Design. Swat oversees a team of artisans who combine upcrafted material ideas with designs from the Coachtopia team. This is what you are seeing here on the panel yeah. before to cut. And the finally, it's coming like this. This is the most loveliest bag. It's beautiful to see the way that heritage craft is coming together with waste materials to create yeah. a new sort of luxury. You see the human touch required to craft these really intricate designs. Swat tells me that in an industry that mostly competes on speed of production, KH has instead decided to compete on craft drawing upon local expertise for the meticulous handwork that makes products like these possible. I'm calling them like a pearl. Because these weaving ladies, they are well known in India. Vannakam. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Tell me about the process of training these amazing artisans. Training is taking a couple of years. A couple no of doubt. years. A couple of years, yes. 
first of all, we need to find the talented people for train. So you scout artisans in the market and you yep. try and bring them into yep. this facility? Yes, 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 oh, that's absolutely. Really interesting. It's exciting to see how traditional skills can be combined with technological innovation to tackle the challenges of making with waste. One result is the leather Coachtopia uses in its upcrushed leather bags. At KH, they call this Enokra, a word that stands for innovative craft. So tell me, what is Enokra? Uh, Enokra is a recycled panel, which we are creating from the factory wastage. Mm. It's not sweat, but then the texture and feel-wise, it will still look like a suede. So when you start it, you're basically putting together different leather scraps. Yes. So this is what Enokra looks like when this it's complete. Is, yes. Each panel is individual and unique. That is the Enokra beauty. These large scraps is what creates this. Exactly, exactly. And so what do we have here? From extra pieces, we'll just make again the panels. You can see here, some wastage will come. So you're basically telling me that you have the waste of the waste uh -huh. and the waste of the waste. Yes, exactly. This is only a small bits, small tiny, tiny bits. And so this is really interesting because it completely changes the look of it here. Like yes. here we have patchwork, but this feels like a mosaic almost. Yes, 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 it's a micro mosaic we are calling this. I love this because it shows the journey that even waste goes on yes, in this exactly. process. Exactly. So who makes this? Yeah, we have a, a very nice artist. Uh, I'll show you. What is the cost? What do you do? How do you do the corners? How do you do it? I can see that we've only begun to scratch the surface of the many ways we can reuse waste. I wonder though, how it all works at scale. I went to the VP of production, Ajmal, and associate VP, Irshad, for some answers. What is it like to be the production manager for Coach? And how has Coachtopia changed things for you? Initially, it was difficult. For any other brand, it's all set process. The leather comes in, you cut it, you make it, the same thing. But in Coachtopia, it's the reverse. Tell me how that's difficult from a quality control perspective. Yeah, they have more challenges on that because in every stage, we make some double inspection for everything. They have some things, some natural grains and the wrinkles. For the coach, we have the high standards, high standards. For the coach, Topia, we are given some tolerance. And the purpose of the bag still remains the same. So it really requires us to look at our culture and what we choose to aspire to, what we find beautiful. It's startling to think that because of our cultural mindset around perfection, the natural grain of leather can be seen as a defect, leading to more waste. It makes me realize that circularity is not just about changing the way we make, but changing the way we think. Coach Topia selected KH as a partner because of its commitment to sustainable practices. For example, using 70% renewable energy and recycling 95% of its water waste. But just as important is its commitment to investing in its workers and community. KH has a learning academy. Now for the workers, we have a training program inside our factory. Almost everyone has put in a lot of years here just because the approach from our management, they take care of us, they take care of our growths. That is more important because if there's no growth, then everybody's going to be out. தோனி <laughs> It's inspiring to see people with such a range of backgrounds working with Coachtopia to change our industry. It's also a reminder that tackling even the most difficult problems starts with the belief that change is possible. So how did you feel when Coachtopia came to you and said, we want you to use 
production scraps, not just liability. Actually, we objected first because it was very difficult to maintain. This is the huge inventory to prepare and keep it these pieces in sight. The beginning, we were scared. And our product developers, they just ask us to trial something. We are very happy. We are very happy, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like circularity or sustainability, it's not always the easier path, but yes. it's a critical path. But we can able to say we are in the beginning. Reimagining waste is just one step along the road to circularity. But imagine the impact at scale. What if every scrap of material produced was used to make something lasting and meaningful? What if one day we didn't need to produce new materials at all? My visit here showed me just how steep some of the challenges on this road can be, but also reinforced the fact that we have to start somewhere. So why not here? Why not today?